We're now at a deployment site where we have loggers in the water here, and they've been logging for several months. Uh, we're going to uh, first do measurements of the water so that we can do a field calibration. So I have installed in the water a DO probe and a conductivity probe from this meter. And that allows me to measure dissolved oxygen content in the salinity of the water that the conductivity probe is measuring. And that's all calculated in the meter. So I will be taking readings from this meter uh, concurrent with the current logging interval uh, that's going on right now in the water. Uh, once I have this measurement done, then we will pull these loggers out. Uh, we will clean the loggers, uh, download the data from the loggers, and then uh, redeploy the loggers with a new launch cycle, and then take another set of readings for the beginning of the next cycle from the meters. So we'll have another set of DO and conductivity and temperature readings uh, at the beginning of the next cycle. So well, first I need to record the data as we have it here. So I have to record the date and time, as well as the conductivity, 41.8 millisiemens per centimeter, temperature is 18.9 centigrade, DO is 8.18. And I also, this meter also has the ability to measure uh, barometric pressure, 763.8. which will be useful for the percent sat cal calculations that we'll see later. Okay, so now I have the measurements. Next we will uh, pull up the loggers. And we have deployed uh, DO logger and uh, the U26 DO logger and the U24 conductivity logger because we need to know salinity uh, for the same calculation that the meter did in order to calculate the actual DO content in salt water. So what we have here is, as you can see, there's fouling on the growth, marine growth on the cable and a bit of growth on the loggers. I have multiple loggers here at the moment, but we're only concerned about one logger. There's the DO loggers, and on this cable we have a variety of conductivity loggers. That are also suitably fouled with marine growth. This is the logger that we'll be using. <clears throat> Next we clean the loggers. Yeah, let's clean the loggers. Okay, so we're going to clean these up. Here's a couple of towels we're going to need. Uh, actually, they're so messy, it might be good to uh, rinse them in a bucket of water. Yeah. Try to get some clean water. There we go. Okay, that'll help us clean them off a little bit. Then I have fresh water for second round. Yeah, it's quite extensive fouling. Okay, we're, we're now going to remove the cover for the computer interface, the coupler. Well, actually, you, well, uh, in this case, we're going to use a waterproof shuttle. And you attach a waterproof shuttle to the coupler, as always, with the line on the coupler, aligning with the line on the logger. <clears throat> and you press the lever to start. And the transfer light comes on and it transfers data into the shuttle. See the transfer light flashing. I think it's done. Okay, and then we remove this and then we're going to finish cleaning this one. We have is uh, fresh water. We're cleaning the sensor. 
finish. It still has some marine growth in it. We'll clean out before we're done. But to clean off the, uh, the sensor, we use we rinse this in fresh water now, and use a, a soft plastic brush to clean off the fouling on the surface of the fluorescent material. It's pretty good. We rinse that in fresh water. This doesn't matter as much because it's not the actual sensor, it's just protecting the sensor. Good. Put the cover back on. We put on the uh, this cover as well, which also supports it on the cable. And then we're ready for redeployment. Okay, as you saw, we pulled the loggers from the water. We cleaned the loggers. We have downloaded the data with the shuttle, waterproof shuttle, and the waterproof shuttle also relaunches the loggers. So, that, so now they are both clean. We have a U26, you saw me download, and a U24 also. And they are both launched, and they are now going to be redeployed at the same location for another measurement interval. We're basically doing one month at a time right now. And on both of these, I lower it down and both of them need to be shook in order to clear the air off of the sensors. And these are hung off the dock at an appropriate depth. This is a floating dock, so there's no issue with coming out of the water. And then we need to take a set of measurements again, because now we need to have data for the beginning of the launch for both loggers, for the U24 and the U26. So again, I still have my meter with the two sensors in the water as before, DO sensor and conductivity sensor. And I'm going to record the time. And the conductivity, 43.5 millisiemens per centimeter, 20.8 degrees C, and 8.39 milligrams per liter. So I now have the data for field calibration of the next measurement cycle. So that should do it for another month. We'll be back in a month from now and we'll repeat this whole process again of extracting the loggers, cleaning the loggers, downloading the data, and uh, relaunching and reinserting the loggers into the water, taking calibration data at the end of the last measurement cycle and the beginning of the next moving forward measurement cycle.